In the previous video I covered the installation and uh, precise configuration of the Forest New Idols, its generator and the output mod. So make sure that you watched that video and that you configured your game correctly for FNIS 7.3 to function in Mod Organizer 2.1.2. Now we will proceed with the generation of the FNIS behavior. Before proceeding with generating FNIS behavior, make sure two things. That the FNIS output mod is deactivated, so deactivate it now. And secondly, that your load order is sorted with loot and that the bashed patch is rebuilt correctly. The sorting and bashed patch procedure is covered in another video and the link to it is in the description if you need it. Plugins are sorted. Bash patch is rebuilt, FNIS output is off, is deactivated, so I can hit the FNIS generator. And this window will open. For the purpose of my guide, we use gender, specific animation, skeleton, arm fix, file redirection, so that the FNIS behavior is written to the output mode that we defined. And we also use TK Dodge, Ultimate Combat, which is on the list, and we activate it too. Then click Update FNIS behavior. The generator did its job, I can check consistence and exit. Afterwards look, there is an alert here about files being in overwrite. Double click on overwrite and anything that shows up here after the FNIS regeneration, just drag it to your FNIS output mod. Close it, activate the output mod and we are ready to play. The only things you need to remember when regenerating FNIS is sort load order, rebuild bashed patch and deactivate FNIS output. Then regenerate, drag stuff from overwrite into output and activate output. And now we can test the game and see if the animation works. So let's check them animations, if everything's fine. Take out the sword. The TK dodge works fine. Joy of perspective works fine. NPCs move, have stuff on their backs. Lydia has got her shield on her back, so dual sheet redux is working also fine. Thanks for tuning in to Outdated TV and let me know if you need any help.